time to start looking at setting up your offer. And before we move on too much, I want to make a note here. I had uh, I made an impromptu trip to California, and uh, things my normal recording setup is a little bit different right now. So hopefully it won't make too big of a difference. But if things sound a little bit different, you know why? Because I'm in a different environment. Uh, what we want to talk about though is the technical aspects of getting ready to start promoting whatever uh, you have selected to promote on ClickBank. So what I'm going to do, first off, here is our uh, friendly map of uh, the four modules that we're dealing with. We're looking at setting up your offer right now. So we've already gone through the first two. We're on number three. And what I'm going to do, since this is a bit technical, I'm going to give you a process overview of the different elements here, the different things we're going to talk about. And I'm going to do a video just for each one of these, basically. So we want to kind of break things down where they're bite-sized chunks, if you will. First thing, I'm going to give you the whole overview, overview right now, but then we're going to dive right into the first one. The first thing is register the domain name. A lot of things that I want to talk about there. Uh, we'll save that for just a minute. Then we move on to getting the actual hosting account. For those of you that don't know, a hosting account is where you actually put all of your, you know, your website so that it's on the internet. When we register the domain name, we're getting our own www. you know, whatever. com or whatever. Uh, biz or whatever it is that we get. When we get to the hosting account, we tell that uh, we, we say basically that that name points to a specific server on the internet where our website is located. That's what the hosting account is. Then, believe it or not, at that point you still don't really have a website. All you've got is the name, and you've got a place to put the website. Then we're going to look at creating the landing page. The landing page is. The first thing that people are going to see after they click on your ad, uh, they click on whatever link you're using to send traffic to that site. And the way that we're doing this, remember, a lot of affiliates, they will go out and, you know, they'll just maybe advertise on AdWords and just send people directly to the landing page for, you know, whatever the product is that they're trying to promote. And that's not the best way to do it because of a lot of factors. One of them being that the other people might not be good marketers. They might not really have a good landing page. And they need somebody to pre-sell that product, do a better job of making preparation for people to buy it. Now, in addition to the landing page, the landing page is a very, very important part in our actual marketing. But in addition to that, we also have to have a full-blown website. Now, relax because it's not... You know, it's not really, when I say full-blown, that doesn't mean elaborate. It just means that we have to have all of the elements of a, a real full-blown website. We've got to have a contact page. We've got to have our home page. We've got to have a privacy statement. We've got to have all of these and some other things that I'll be mentioning. But the reason for that is not that we're using those elements per se to market. But what we're doing is we want to get a better quality score as far as Google is concerned. And we want, later on, any other traffic methods that we use to send traffic there. Maybe, you know, if, if our site's up for six months, sure, we want to take a benefits of search engine optimization, SEO. So we want a full website, everything that a real website has. Uh, but again, people are focusing on the landing page. And don't worry, because I'm going to give you, actually, a couple of templates that you can use here to get that landing page up. It's kind of like fill in the blank. You just pop in your specific stuff. And same thing with the website. I'll give you the basic layout of the site. You want to go in, though, and make some changes to it. It's not, this stuff is not rocket science, okay? It's just use an editor and make some changes. Now, don't think you're going to be having to stay up, you know, late at night making this website and learn all about HTML and, uh, you know, cascading style sheets and all that stuff you might have heard. Um, I'm going to show you where you can go get some templates for the landing page. I'm going to give you a real simple template. You just go in and fill in the blank, you know, change everything up to match your offer and your story and everything. For the website, I'll show you where you can get a site template. As a matter of fact, the company that I'm going to recommend that you uh, host through, 
they give you templates. So really, literally, in a matter of like when I've gone there, set things up, in about 30 minutes, I have like from nothing <laughs> to a full-blown, nice-looking, professional website, and then all that is left is, you know, i got to go in there and make some tweaking, some customization, stuff like that. Then we're going to talk about the story. The story is that what is the difference between you and the other marketers out there. The story relates to them. The story invokes emotion. The story creates a bond with the viewer. And it kind of shows them that you're sympathetic to their problem. And not only that, you have the solution to their problem. And we'll get into that, obviously, in more detail later on. And the last thing is upload and test. All this stuff that we did here, the website that we created, uh, you know, the modifications that we made to it, put our story in it, we upload that to the server, make sure everything is working. And that's it. So what we're going to do now is in the next video, we'll jump on registering your domain. And again, I'm going to break this all down. So each one of these blue uh, buttons, for lack of a better word, that you see here, that's going to be a separate video so that you can review each one of those uh, topics individually if you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with registering your domain name.